the girlies and welcome back to the pod. Happy Monday or whatever day it is that you're listening to this. Hope you have been having a great week and just remember school's almost over so yay. I actually by the time this episode goes up on the Monday I will only have two more days left of school, two more finals. I have my calculus final and then my physics final and honestly I'm just so excited to finally be over with all of it junior year over this year has just been a lot I think for everybody but anyway so today we're talking all about body positivity summer bodies how to feel confident in a swimsuit my favorite swimsuits like brands styles whatever all the things pretty much how to be baddie this summer so I have all the tips for y'all Let's just start out with best and worst of the week. The best of the week was that I went shopping with my friends the other day and it was super fun. We were just looking for prom dresses. I mean, I already have mine, but we were just all going and it was lots of fun and I actually bought the pants I'm currently wearing right now. They're from Aerie. They're kind of like yoga pants-ish and a little purpley gray, but they're really cute and I'm kind of low-key obsessed with them. So that was fun, just being able to go out. And then I would say my worst of the week was just that I've been feeling very overwhelmed by social media managing all my stuff, especially towards the end of the year. It's kind of been a lot, you know, with finals and everything. So I just feel like I've had a lot going on, but at the same time, literally nothing is happening you know which is kind of a weird feeling because I feel like I can't complain about it then but here I am so just this week has kind of felt a little wonky but I mean hey it's okay because we're here and we're talking all about body positivity what it means to have a summer body how you can feel more confident in a bathing suit how to look better in a bathing suit okay and some of my favorite brands hyping y'all up all the things Time for hot girl summer, okay? And yeah, I'm super excited. So don't forget to leave a review, subscribe, follow, do all the things. Also, right now when you're listening, you should definitely take a screenshot of you listening, post it to your story, and tag me because I love seeing who's listening, when they listen. And yeah, let me know if this episode was helpful. I love chatting with y'all. And before we get into it, I'm going to take a quick water break and then I'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsor. Revolution Beauty is affordable and accessible makeup for all. Since day one, Revolution has been challenging beauty norms and championing diversity. All products are 100% cruelty-free and designed based on consumer feedback, so Revolution has something for every skin type and any occasion. As someone who prioritizes skincare and loves experimenting with different types of products, Revolution is great because it offers a variety of different things, from makeup to skincare products for all your beauty needs. We're teaming up with Revolution Beauty to give you 20% off your next purchase by using the code PODGO20. That's code P-O-D-G-O-20 at revolutionbeauty.us. Check out the link in our show notes and join the revolution today. And I'm back. Hey guys. Okay, so let's talk about body positivity. I feel like on social media, there's been this kind of craze going around where everyone feels like they need to speak about it, which I mean, I guess that's what I'm doing as well. But it's usually the people who they'll post a TikTok and they'll be like, be confident in your bodies. And it's these beautiful girls. And I'm not saying that if you're gorgeous and look like a model, you can't be insecure because of course anyone can be. But I feel like for the people who actually do feel insecure and wouldn't be the stereotypical model type person, you're kind of looking at that and you're like, what, what is she talking about? You know, which I feel like makes this a kind of weird subject to talk about, but I wanted to. And especially relating to summer, I feel like there are so many just aspects about it that it just makes me personally uncomfortable. And I would say I'm fairly confident in how I look and how I dress. And I feel like that's not just because 
I'm like some model walking around. Of course not. Just because I personally feel confident in myself, which I think that's what it's all about. Like you don't have to look like a model to feel good about yourself. You just have to be confident in yourself if you know what I mean. But around summertime, there's always this idea of getting the perfect summer body or when it's around spring break, people are like, oh, I need to start working out so I can look good and for spring break or whatever. But you really don't have to do anything because you are perfect. You don't need this super skinny hourglass shape, whatever, quote unquote, summer body. Okay. Most of us don't have that. And that's okay. I feel like as long as you're being healthy and doing what's best for you, you don't need to all of a sudden just start doing exercises because when it doesn't immediately work out, it kind of makes you feel bad and you kind of feel a little crappy about it. So that's why I just think summer bodies BS, okay? There is no such thing as one specific summer body, right? Because we all have summer bodies. We all are people in the summer who have bodies. So there's me dumb explaining it. But I also feel like on Instagram, especially, there's this need over the summer or even over breaks when people are going to the beach, whatever, that you have to post a bikini picture, which, why is that a thing? I don't know. I feel like especially young girls get into this mindset of, oh, I need to post with less skin. I need to look better. I need to do this, this, and this. But honestly, you really don't. You don't need to post a bikini picture. I mean, you can go off if you want to. I know I have before, but sometimes I feel like I have to, which doesn't make sense. And I just feel like social media has created this toxic culture of young girls feeling the need that they have to post almost naked pictures of themselves, which I mean... It's kind of weird if you think about it that people freak out so much that they see someone in a bra and underwear, but if someone's in a bathing suit, it's fine. Personally, my bathing suits cover less than my bra and underwear do, which doesn't make sense to me why anyone would freak out and be like, oh my god, I can see your underwear, ha ha ha. You know what? Okay, you've seen me in a bathing suit. That's the same thing. Or why do people get so freaked out? When they're changing, they're like, oh my god, I don't want anyone to see my underwear. But then these same people are seeing you half naked at the pool. Sometimes I don't understand life. But I just want to let you know that you are beautiful. You are perfect. Your body is perfect. You inside are perfect. And you don't need to look like a model to be better really, because you're perfect. And it's just about realizing that and working on growing your confidence and all will be okay. So I know I've talked a lot about feeling confident will make you feel better about yourself, which I feel like is true with everything. Honestly, feeling confident helps with your mood, helps with you feel about yourself when you're looking in the mirror You see yourself and you're like, oh, dang, I look really good. I feel like I talked about this. But one day I woke up and I did a double take of myself. I stopped and I looked and I was like, oh my gosh, I look really good, which sounds narcissistic, which probably is, but that's okay because I'm out here loving myself, which I think is fine. Look at yourself and be like, oh my gosh. I'm great. I'm beautiful. This body is doing what it needs to be doing and I need to take care of it, right? I feel like on the internet, you hear about this all the time. You're like, you have one body, you need to take care of it, which is so true. But I don't think that means you need to starve yourself. You need to diet. You need to work out seven times a week, hard workouts, not eat, wear clothes that you don't feel comfortable in. No, Do stuff that makes you feel good. Eat a balanced diet. Work out a few times a week. You don't need to be working out every day. I don't work out every day. Y'all, I worked out like once last week and I hadn't worked out since spring break, okay? It's fine. 
it's okay. You don't need to be doing all this stuff. And I think another thing that really helps with confidence in a swimsuit is adding fun accessories. And personally for me, I love jewelry, cover-ups, sunglasses, whatever. And my favorite type of jewelry right now is from Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand that is offering exceptional quality for great prices. I mean, seriously, guys, their jewelry is only starting at $39 and you are getting the cutest products. As someone who is obsessed with finding new jewelry, gold pieces, Ana Luisa is the perfect place. And I know that I am always trying to be super conscious about how I can be more sustainable and help the environment. And Ana Luisa is doing just that. They are carbon neutral and they're doing so much for the environment. And that's why I'm so happy to be supporting them. I recently received some of their products and I have to say that I'm absolutely in love. The quality you get for these products is truly insane for the affordable prices. Their products are chic, perfect for everyday wear, or if you want to dress up a cute outfit. I know that I have prom coming up soon and I will definitely be wearing some of my Ana Luisa pieces. So make sure to check out my Instagram to see them on. And y'all, you need this jewelry. And you can check it out by using the link in the description of my episode or by going to analuisa.com slash girlygirl. You can use code girlygirl to get 10% off your order. If y'all want to match with me, you need to do this. And I can't even explain how gorgeous their products are. And y'all know me, I wouldn't bring this up if I didn't believe that you wouldn't love it. So make sure you use code girlygirl to get 10% off your order. I can't wait to see what y'all get. It's truly an amazing brand and they're great if you want to treat yourself or as a gift for a loved one. So check out analuisa.com slash girlygirl using code girlygirl for 10% off your next order. Besides adding accessories, I think another thing that is so, so, so helpful is hyping yourself up before you're going out in a swimsuit. I like to listen to fun music. Personally, I like pop music, music that kind of feels like you're in a club where you can just like jump up and down. You know, right now I have been vibing to, this is not a club music so this doesn't make sense but olivia rodrigo's sour album oh my freaking gosh it is so good i made a tiktok about this yesterday using the brutal sound that song is so relatable she's literally me and that just goes to show that we all (laughs) feel the same things which is also weird but Another song I've been liking is Mr. Saxo Beat. That one's pretty good. But you can also find playlists on Apple Music, on Spotify, if you just search like dance or party or listen to songs that just make you feel good. It doesn't have to be an upbeat pop song. It can be something mellow, reggae. I don't know. My sister likes reggae. It can be literally anything. Just something that makes you feel good. Dance in the mirror. The best thing you can do, okay? You're going to turn on your fun music, okay? Turn up good for you, whatever. Stand in front of your mirror while you're getting ready. Sing to yourself. Have a mini dance party. Hype yourself up in your swimsuit. Feel cute. Look cute, okay? If you feel like you're cute on the inside, you're going to look cuter. I talked about this in my glow up episode, but when you feel confident, you look a thousand times better, which I think is so true. And that just goes to show that if you're working on your confidence, that's going to do so much more than if you're trying to diet or if you're working out like a mad woman, okay? Work on your confidence. I promise you, it will make everything better, literally everything in your entire life. Another thing that helps with confidence is using positive affirmations. And these can be things like, I love myself, I deserve love, whatever. But specifically for summertime, for wearing a bikini, be like, 
I look good. I may not be society's stereotypical body type or whatever, but I look good. I feel good. My body does what it needs to do for me. I love myself. I appreciate myself. I love my body. I don't know. Give yourself a little hug. Self-love hug. Is that a thing? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I'm giving myself a hug. If you're everyone listening, give yourself a hug, okay? People on video can see myself hugging. Uh, I probably look stupid. I don't know. But (laughs) I think positive affirmations are so, so, so helpful. I was actually doing this. I had an A-push exam earlier in the week, and I was really nervous before. I didn't feel very confident about it. But I, it was online, so I was in my room, I was pacing in my room, and I kept telling myself, I was like, I'm smart, I know the material, I'm gonna get a five, whatever, which, do we know that's true? No, but just hype yourself up, okay? If you're doubting yourself, fill yourself with confident thoughts, okay? Fake it till you make it, pretend that's how you feel. That wasn't how I was feeling. I was thinking I was going into it and I was going to fail, but honestly, I did fine and it wasn't even that bad. So hype yourself up before. Tell yourself, I'm beautiful. I'm confident. I feel good. I look good. Even if you don't, it's kind of convincing your mind. This also goes for, you know, when you're sick, if you keep thinking, oh my gosh, I feel so sick. I feel so bad. You're going to stay sick. But if you tell yourself, wow, I'm so healthy, I don't feel sick at all, you'll be fine. I do this whenever I get really nauseous because I know for me personally, when I get nauseous, I keep thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. No, that's the opposite of what, you're, what you want to do. You're going to think, I'm fine. I'm not sweaty. I don't feel like I'm going to pass out. I don't feel nauseous. Or think about stuff you need to do instead, distracting yourself, okay? Do that. But also, it's kind of, I guess, tricking yourself into believing something else. Another example. Yesterday, I was at school for some awards ceremony, and I was in a dress, and I was absolutely freezing. But I kept telling myself, I'm warm. I'm warm. So was I manifesting warmth? Yes. Did it work? Kind of. But that is not the point. The point is, fake it till you make it. Be confident. Pretend like you're confident and then at some point you actually will be. Another thing that can help with feeling more confident is surrounding yourself with people who make you feel good. And this goes for friends, family members, whatever. When you're getting ready to go to the beach, the pool, go out, literally any time in the summer because you're wearing less clothes, Surround yourself with people who feel good. If you're going out with friends, make sure they're friends that would hype you up when they see you. They're like, oh my gosh, Carmen, you look so good. I love your outfit. Where did you get that? Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Whatever, all the things. We love external validation over here, okay? But, and just know that these people, you should hype them up too because some you don't even know. They could be feeling insecure and just not expressing it to you. And they might be feeling the same way you do. So try to hype them up. Try to compliment their outfits. Try to say they look so good. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Ask them where they got it. And complimenting people just makes them feel good. It also makes you feel good too. And surround yourself with people who overall make you feel good. You don't want to be hanging around people who are looking at you in a swimsuit. It's like, oh my gosh, mm, you really shouldn't be wearing that. That makes you look a little fat. Maybe you should suck in your stomach, okay? You don't want to be hanging around people like that. That doesn't help you or help them. And if someone does say that to you, you should be like, you know what? I think I look good. I love this swimsuit. It's one of my favorites and I feel confident. And if you don't like that, then that sucks. Or if you don't feel like confronting someone, try to compliment them and be like, well, I don't really think so, but I love how your swimsuit looks. Where did you get it? Change the attention back to them and it'll really help out. Another thing is that you shouldn't focus so much on getting quote-unquote bikini ready, right? And this goes back to you don't need to diet. You don't need to starve yourself before you're going to the beach. You are going to look perfect. You're going to look fine. And we all have stuff we want to work on, but that doesn't mean we have to 
hurt ourselves in the process, right? We don't need to starve ourselves. We don't need to work ourselves to death. And we can try to find balance. The best thing you can do is find balance in your life with food, with exercise, with free time, with work, with all the things. And I really don't think you need to focus on getting bikini ready. This goes back to the idea of having, quote unquote, summer body. Everybody's a summer body, okay? We don't need to be like a skinny legend or whatever. You just feel good where you are and just know you can always improve, but you don't need to hurt yourself in the process. If you want to look good or better in a swimsuit, I think the best thing you can do is find a style that you like and make sure it doesn't have to be something that's trending right now. Make sure it's something that you feel comfortable with, that you think you look cute in, that you would actually swim in. I think it also helps to know that this swimsuit fits you, that you have at least tried it on before you're going to wear it somewhere and make sure that it's something that you would feel comfortable swimming in or if you're not going swimming, make sure it's something that you know won't fall off because I think that can cause a lot of anxiety around going to the beach or going to the pool. That can be kind of nerve-wracking. I know that's happened to me. I vividly remember when I was younger, I was going off a diving board and my top literally fell off and this boy in my grade was just there. But don't let that happen to you. Wear swimsuits that you know probably won't fall off. Um, careful of nip slips. Uh, <laughs> trying to give all my tips. But just wear something that you feel confident in. Try, experiment with different styles. Bandeau tops. I don't know. Triangles. Uh... What's another swimsuit? Why can't I think of any swimsuits? I don't know. Experiment with different styles of swimsuits. Find out what makes you feel the most confident, whether it's something that might be more conservative or something that's a little more risky. Personally, I would say I'm more on the risky side. I love showing some booty in a bathing suit. Mainly, I don't know. I just love my butt. Is that weird to say? Maybe. But... I feel more confident when I'm showing more of my skin personally. And I know some people feel the opposite way. They might feel more comfortable by just not showing any skin. Wear one piece. You can try one pieces, bikinis, whatever makes you feel good. Personally, I love a good one piece. But bikinis, mm mm-hmm. Love a bikini. Personally, I wear a different bikini from where I'm going. If I'm going to the pool in my neighborhood, I will dress more conservatively. If I'm going to the beach in Mexico, we will have a thong bikini on. Why? Because I can. And for everyone who met my mom, yes, my mom does approve. My mom encourages more skin, which is one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why I love her. But yeah, make sure you try on a swimsuit before you get it. And if you're ordering online, still try it on. If it doesn't fit, don't return it. Don't just keep it because it's something that's trending right now or that you thought it would be cute or maybe by the time it becomes summer, it'll fit. No. Get something that you're actually going to wear and try to get higher quality swimsuits because I know I'm going to butcher this. I really don't know how to say this. Shan, Sheen, whatever that's called. Those swimsuits, okay, while they might be cute, the quality is horrendous. It's also not good for the environment. I'm sure most of these stores aren't, and I doubt it. It's harder to find affordable, sustainable um, swimwear. If anyone knows brands, please DM me because I'd love to know. But, Shan, I wouldn't suggest mainly because their sizing is so weird and I don't even know if you can return stuff there it might be cheap but you are literally getting what you pay for so that's not saying much but some of my favorite brands for swimwear affordable brands I guess I love the Target swimsuits I actually just got one the other day that's a light purple and it's super cute I'm thinking of making a reel or TikTok whatever showing some of my favorite bathing suits so y'all can get inspo. But I love the Target swimsuits. They have lots of good styles and they have lots of sizes, whatever. 
and this one is just super cute and usually the target swimsuits are pretty affordable and something that isn't trending in a popular style so if you're worried about that I mean hey you know you'll have something that's cute that's trending and then another brand that I really like which is probably so obvious for swimwear is Airy. I was in Airy yesterday like I said for my best of the week I got the pants that I'm currently wearing but Airy swimsuits are just such high quality and they're affordable and they're so cute to be fair though they are a bit on the more conservative side not saying they're crazy um but compared to Shein I feel like it's there's not really a comparison but the airy swimsuits are still super cute I know that I have an airy swimsuit from freshman year that looks just as new as I first got it and it's super cute it has flowers and it's one of my favorite swimsuits because I know it's trustworthy. I know it won't fall off. And I really like it. But I think Target is also good because it has a range from being more conservative to more risky. So you can find somewhere in between. And it's also good for these stores is that you can go in person now that the mask stuff is kind of lifted in the U.S. I don't really understand. I mean, I'm vaccinated, but I have still worn my mask. I went into the mall the other day and literally half, more than half the people weren't wearing masks, which was just kind of weird, but it's fine. So I think those are two affordable brands. And then another brand that I really like, I would say I just found out about it, but that's not true. I got two swimsuits from there for spring break and it's triangle which is so basic but it's not the ones that were trending in 2017 where it's kind of looks like a bra with the block block coloring it's not like that it's straight across with thin straps and it's really cute and I got a black and then a blue velvety one and they're so cute and I got their cheeky bottoms which I really like and they're comfortable and high quality I'm kind of obsessed with them. They are on a bit of a pricier side, but they do have really cute swimsuits. But if you're not looking to spend a bunch of money, definitely go for Target or Airy. And <laughs> this is kind of funny, but freshman year, I was on a ban from buying swimsuits, according to my mother, because I bought too many. So this was the first year. I don't think I bought any swimsuits really at all last year. But I bought a few this year. Good thing is from freshman year, they still fit me because I literally haven't grown ever. I had the same shoe size since fifth grade, which is just really annoying. And also, I don't think I've grown in height since like sixth grade either. But hey, it's fine. We love life. But yeah, those are my favorite brands. Let me know what your favorite brands are if you have similar ones. And I'll make sure to post some of my current favorite swimsuits and I'll do like a try on haul, I guess, even though I already have them and not buying them. But I think that would be really cute and really fun. But I just want to let you guys know just a little motivation. You are beautiful. You are perfect. And if you don't feel comfortable wearing a bikini, don't. Okay. But you can try, you can try the tips I had to make yourself feel more confident. It's all about what you feel comfortable doing. Don't feel pressured to wear something or to look a certain way just because that's what you see online, on Instagram, on TikTok or whatever. Because most of these people, if someone's posting a bikini picture, it's because that's the one that they look really good in. And that's the picture they think they look really good in. That does not mean they look like that all the time, okay? No one looks like an Instagram model all the time, even the Instagram models, okay? And just remember that the people you often compare yourselves to are usually older than you. They're usually models, okay? And that's not really a comparison to a middle school or high school girl to a 20-year-old model, okay? There's a lot of, there's a big difference. So just remember that you're beautiful the way you are and inside and out too, and try to focus on self-confidence rather than what you can change about yourself physically, and it'll all be okay.
hot girl summer coming our way and I think it'll be exciting. I'm honestly ready just Remember to check out analuisa.com slash girlygirl to go treat yourself and your loved ones by using my code girlygirl to get 10% off. I absolutely recommend them. They're a great brand making beautiful, sustainable jewelry. Go check out analuisa.com slash girlygirl code girlygirl. Link in the description. And yeah, don't forget to leave a review, subscribe, follow, do all the things. And thank you all so much for listening. I really appreciate it. And I hope this was helpful. Let me know what other episodes you want to see, summer content, literally anything, and make sure you check out all the links in the description of this episode to find my blog, newsletter, email, etc. Make sure you are also following me on Instagram and TikTok at the Girly Girl Podcast if you aren't already. And I would like to point out that I have recently been getting a lot of messages and DMs, so if I don't respond right away, please know that I am getting bombarded with quite a bit and I'm trying my best because I have gotten a few people telling me to respond, which please try to be patient. I do get a lot of messages and I always try my best to respond to everybody and I just want to let you know that I'm not ignoring you. I literally get so much. Okay, anyway, love you guys so much. Hot girl summer. School's almost over. I'm so freaking excited. Love you all so much. Bye.